Greetings, and welcome back to our second video. Let's get this one done. When we're talking surface area of cylinders, and we're going to go to real life application. And our first example, number four, says how much paper? How much paper is used for the label of this can of soup? Well, let's take a quick look at this can of soup. Oh, wow. It's shaped like a cylinder. I see that it has a circular top, and I know it has a circular bottom. And I'm going to remind myself the formula for the area of a cylinder, 2 times area of the base plus the perimeter times the height, or the circumference, as a lot of people might want to say. And the question asks us for the label on the soup can. So I'm looking at this soup can, and I see that the label, well, the label doesn't go on the top or the bottom circle. It doesn't go on those bases. Wow, I don't need that. I just don't flat out need that. All I need is what? That's right, all I need is the lateral surface area. All I need is that lateral surface area, the part that goes around, the part that goes around. So I know I can find that by going um, 2 pi r. That's what I usually use, because I usually have to find the top and the bottom, so I usually have to find the radius. But in this particular case, I don't. So I might use pi times the diameter. And then, of course, I'm going to multiply by the height. Either way, I'm multiplying by the height. Well, since they give us this distance right here, they give us the diameter. I am going to use pi times the diameter. And that's 3.14 times the diameter of 2.5. And I'm going to multiply that by the height. And oh, lo and behold, I recognize that I forgot to put the height on there. When I photocopied this into your notes, the height wasn't there. So let's add that in real fast. The height is actually four inches. So now we can put that four inch height, we can put that four inch height into our formula. When we multiply by the height, that's times four. And now I can just take my calculator. I can do 3.14 times 2.5 times four, and I can get 31.4, and that's inches squared for the lateral surface of this label. Now you and I both know on a soup label, they don't make it absolutely perfect end to end. They do a little bit extra so they so when they fold it, when they wrap it around and over the top of each other at the one at the ends, they have a little bit where they can glue it together. But the minimum amount required would of course be 31.4 inches for this can of soup. Moving right along, how much material will it take to make this oatmeal container? Wow, this oatmeal container is a cylinder, and I can see I need to make the whole darn thing. So I need to use my entire formula of two times the area of the base plus the perimeter and the height. So I'm going to go two times pi r squared, and then I'm going to add to that two pi r h. So let's find those values. I'm going to go right here. I always highlight my cylinder or my base first. So two times 3.14. And I see, oh wow, that's so nice of them to give us the diameter, uh, excuse me, they gave us the radius, so 2.5 squared. Adding to that, 2 times 3.14 times the radius again, 2.5, and of course the height, the height being 9.25. So this is just a matter of, once again, plugging all this stuff into the calculator and coming up with an answer. And... 2 times 3.14, excuse me, 2 times 3.14 times 2.5 squared does give us 40.625. And then 2 times 3.14 times 2.5 times 9.25 does give us 145.225. And when I add those two twos, fives, and all those other numbers together, I get 185. 0.85, and if I round it to the nearest tenth, it didn't say to, but I would get 185.9. And again, we're talking inches, it's surface area, it's the minimum required, and that is squared uh, to make that oatmeal container. Nice. Moving right along to our last example of our real life application. It says, how much material will it take to make the doggy bowl with a circumference of 29.83 inches and is three inches deep? All right. Well, I'm taking a quick look, and I see I have basically a cylinder. So I know it's two times the area of the base plus the perimeter and the height, or for those of you who like to say the circumference and the height. And I take a look at this doggy bowl, and I can see that if I highlight, if I highlight the bottom and the top, well, I only need one of those. I don't need a cover. It doesn't have a lid. So I don't need two times the area of the base. I just need one of them. I just need an area of the base. 
plus the perimeter and the height. All right, so let's do that. That perimeter of the base is pi times the radius squared, because we only need one of them. And that's 3.14 times the radius, but we don't have the radius yet. Uh-oh, got to back up a little bit. Backing up. And I noticed that it says, hey, that the circumference is 29.83. I know that circumference, if I want to find the radius, is 2 pi r. So I go 2 times 3.14 times my radius is equal to 29.83. And when I divide, excuse me, when I divide by 6.28, dividing by 6.28, I get the fact that the radius is 4.75. So I come over here and go 4.75 and I square it. That will give me my area of the bottom base, which I need. And then the circumference, which is pi, 2 pi r times the height. I know that it's 2. I always like to get my right colors here. 2 times 3.14 times 4.75. And of course, my height is 3 inches. So I got to squeeze that on there as well. And now it's just a matter of using the calculator correctly. 3.14 times 4.75 squared is 70.84625. Plus 2 times pi times 4.75 times 3 is 89.49. Adding those two together, I get 160.33625. So we're going to say a final answer, a final answer of 160.3 inches squared of material to make that nice little doggy bowl. I would probably use that bowl for water. Ha <laughs> ha. Moving right along, our quick right, find the surface area of this cylinder. Yep, just find it. Just find the surface area of the entire cylinder. Make a quick drawing, label it label with the diameter of 12 inches and a height of 2. When you're all done, of course, of course, of course, naturally, naturally, you're going to find some questions that you can bring to class about area of cylinders. You're going to work aggressively. You're going to use some urgency. You're going to use all your time effectively to finish off that 45 minutes with high quality effort, making that choice, practicing to do it every single day. And that's how you'll get better. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you tomorrow.